up, girls? What's up, girls? Hi, baby. I know. We have to tell them. <sighs> I don't know. What about it? Um, today is Thursday, January 17th, and um, I'm going to make this quick. We had to let Shiloh go this morning. Uh, it's not something that's easy to talk about. It's not something that I know you guys want to hear, um, but I know that she's been a part of your lives for a long time, just like she was a part of our lives for a long time. And um, she, I know a lot of you read my posts and saw that she was doing better. She was having a lot of ups and downs. She was having good days and bad days. And, you know, she had some good days and some not so good days. And last night she, uh, most of you know, I was hand feeding her because she could no longer eat on her own because of her jaw. Um, and last night she didn't want to eat anymore and she didn't really want to drink anymore and she couldn't see very well at all. By late last night she was walking into walls. She would not calm down. She kept walking into things and it just got bad really fast. Um, I sat down in the bedroom with her when we went to bed last night, brought her to bed with us and she, you know, was letting out little whines and we knew that she was hurting and I, from the beginning of this, I said I would do everything I could for her until I knew she was in pain and she was. So we made it through last night. We let her sleep on the bed with us. Uh, we hadn't been letting her do that because she was waking up so many times in the middle of the night. We didn't want her to fall off the bed. I don't know if you guys know this, but our bed's really high off the ground. So we hadn't been putting her up there, but she usually before would sleep either on the floor or on the bed. So she had no problem sleeping on the floor, but we put her up on the bed with us because she couldn't get up there on her own. And we knew since she couldn't stand anymore as of last night that she wasn't going to get up and fall. Um, so she slept on the bed with us all night last night and this morning. We woke up and we set her down and she couldn't see at all anymore and she couldn't hear. We would call her and try talking to her and there was no response. Her bad eye had pretty much gone completely bad. It was no longer blue. Uh, she had she was bleeding inside of her eye and we know that was painful. She couldn't eat anymore on her own and it just it was time. It wasn't something we wanted to do. Not something anybody ever wants to do. But we let her go this morning. And uh, she was our first dog. I don't want to cry. She was our first dog, Jamie, and I actually got her before we even got married. So it's hard. And I know this isn't something that you guys want to see. It's not a happy, fun thing that we're doing. <laughs> but at the same time, it is part of our life and I don't just do these videos and vlogs for you guys. I do them for me too so I can look back and see what we've done in the past. And you know, for the past three years I've videoed Shiloh and Shelby and now Oakley and I can go back and I can see all of the fun things that we did. So there'll always be those happy memories and that's how I want you guys to remember her. Um, but I wanted to share this with you because you know, we've opened up our lives and welcomed you guys into our lives and I I wanted to share this with you guys, um, so that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Shelby and Oakley seem to be doing okay. You know, we just got home again. Um, we were gone for a little bit. Went and helped out at the deli today, but they seem to be doing okay. They were outside the backyard playing, and uh, I told Shiloh before we took her to make it snow for me, and we got some snow. Hopefully, we'll get some more. But it's currently snowing right now. So hopefully we'll get a little bit more snow. That's what I asked her for. But uh, she went very peacefully with you know, the help from the vet. And our vet's office is amazing. Everybody there was amazing. And you know, if anybody from the vet's office is watching, thank you guys so much for everything, for everything you did for the past few months. Um, we never thought Shiloh would make it till 11. She's never been a healthy dog. She had a good life. And We'll miss her. We'll talk to you guys later.